Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Coleman and I'm a physician at the Rutland Heart Center. The thing that really makes cardiology special is there are very few fields that you can practice in uh, uh, medicine in multiple different disciplines in the hospital. If someone's sick, it's extremely rewarding being the person that has the skill set and tools to be able to solve that problem. And you really get excellent training and that really allows you to be confident in what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, again, cardiology sort of expands across the depth and breadth of multiple different ways to practice, not just imaging, not just outpatient or inpatient, but you get to do a, bit, a little bit of everything. So I get to follow my patients from the clinic into the hospital, into the, uh, the reading rooms when we're reading their studies, and really come up with a collective diagnosis for them. How do you know you need to see a cardiologist? I think there's a lot of different um, symptoms to look for. Um, certainly, if you've ever been diagnosed with a cardiovascular disease, then you probably should be following us on a, on a routine basis. If you've never been diagnosed and you're having primary symptoms of shortness of breath or chest discomfort or even feeling like you're dizzy or about ready to pass out, those are the very common symptoms that we, we see in routinely uh, for patients routinely in new and clinic. Uh, palpitations or arrhythmias are also um, a, a very common symptom. Um, the, what we recommend you do is review this with your primary care doctor first and see if they think there's a reasonable to come over and see a cardiologist and would be more than happy to take a look at things because there can be a lot of complexity and a lot of subtlety to some of the symptoms a patient's having. Working in the hospital, it's a day-to-day -day collaboration with all the wonderful hospitalists that work there, all the wonderful nurses, all the wonderful uh, social workers and healthcare workers that are helping to get our patients home safely and to keep them out of the hospital, which is our mission these days. It no longer is a game of one doctor says this and it happens. It has to be everybody on board, engaged in the process, willing to help take care of our community. And it goes for patients too. They need to be engaged in this process as well. And if we all work towards that goal, we're gonna really improve healthcare in the region. The feeling I got when I interviewed at Rutland was different than any other place. It was warm, it was welcoming, it was, if you come here, you're valued. You're valued. And that's an important thing for a young physician to be able to come into a community and be able to begin to enact the change that they want and see the vision of how to take care of patients that they want. I really believe it's a blessing what I do for a living. I get the best job in the world. I get to take care of patients. I get to um, always be challenged intellectually every single day. I get to meet new people every day. And that is half the fun of being a physician. So it's very easy to remain positive when you really enjoy what you do as well. So hopefully my patients feel that when they come in and, uh, and you know they can smack me if I'm not. <laughs>